Okay, so I've got my Play-Doh cylinder and my cylinder model. Sorry if it's noisy in the background, I'm making some coffee. Uh, we're going to use floss and cut the cylinder perpendicular to the base to see what kind of a cross-sectional um, surface appears. And then we're going to cut parallel to the base to see what happens. So let's first cut perpendicular. Use my thumbs here with my floss. Start right in the middle up top and then just wiggle it a little bit and then push down until you reach the bottom. Keep going, get it down there. And you can pull the floss out, I'll leave it there. I'm too lazy to try and wedge it out. So now I can pull apart my shape and see. Whoa, that's kind of cool. So I made this a Play Doh, it's not a perfect model. We have this cool, like, smiley face thing happening here. But imagine for a moment, just trying to imagine that that empty hole wasn't there. What shape would appear here? What would this be? And it might surprise you actually, but if you cut perpendicular to the base, if we look at this outline here, the shape, this is a rectangle, right? And just to kind of convince you of that, let me take some of this Play-Doh from here and kind of stuff it in the middle of the other piece so you can really get a sense of how this looks here because my model really is not working there very well. I'm going to really hollow up the one side for you and then fill in the other so we can just kind of see that this is actually a rectangle. That's a little better. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's okay that our model's not perfect. It helps to give us a visual of what's happening. So maybe that helps a little bit. I'm not sure if it does. But can you see that rectangle now, right? If we cut a cylinder, right, perpendicular to that base, we get this beautiful rectangle. Put it back together. Now let's cut it um, parallel to our base. And again, it might be a little funky because this play is a little bit more hollowed out than I want it to be. And I find these cuts uh, parallel to the base a little bit harder to make. So you might want to get someone to help you. Um, so I'm going to just wedge this floss across. And you can cut any height, as long as it's parallel to the base. And if I'm actually, you know, I'm having a hard time pushing it through, I'm going to wrap it around like a belt. Right? Wrap it around the whole shape. Just like tie it around there. See, I'm wrapping it. Okay, and then just pull on both ends. Right? Tighten that belt, and it will cut it nicely for me. So maybe that's a nice way of doing it. Right, there's our cut, and here it's hollowed out, of course, but you can see it now. Those are circles, right? So you actually get the shape that's on the base when you cut parallel to it. On the base of a cylinder, like in this model, you can see it's a circle. So cut parallel to that base, and you'll get a circle any level. And just in case you're not convinced, oops, let me fill that in so you can see the circle there. Well, this plate are really hollowed out there. And again, it's just a model, so it's okay you kind of expect imperfection, right? The only perfection here is in the abstract world of mathematics, not in the modeling world. But I love imperfection just as much as I love the perfection of mathematics. And there's our circle-ish thing, right? But you can imagine if this was done really well, it wasn't done really well by me, but if it was, you get that nice circle. All right, thanks.